All right, what is going on, everyone, and good morning. So, we are going to be doing our second barter for today. We're so close, I can feel it. Just a few more days. Next week, we'll probably have our Carrick. I don't know why I am deciding to pick up the Achilles flowers. I just, I'm not going for the Ebon Ruth Knoll or anything. If I get it, I get it one day. If I don't, whatever, it's not a big deal to me. But what we are going for is the brilliance. And so we have 27 of these. We'll be done with that by tomorrow, the rock salts. And then we're going to need about a week's worth of uh, pearl shards. So we have our reset today. And, uh, well, we actually have another ship one. Uh-oh. This is not a good feeling. Oh, no, we didn't get a... No, we got unlucky. We didn't get a uh, pearl shard from this one. We got a rock salt, but that's it. Um. Okay, so we need a leaf. Or a golden fish scale that looks like a leaf. Shipwreck boat for a lunar black stone. That's kind of worth it, actually, but... uh. 20 mil for that. That's kind of worth it, but let's see. Let me go check. Where is Shipwreck Boat? I know it's in Margoria. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is it just one? It's just one for 20 mil. Yikes. You know, these, uh... These feel kind of bad, actually, when you're literally going out for one item. By the way, the shipwreck boat is this one, I believe. How much do I care? The answer is not really. Well, the... What are you doing? What the heck? Did you just steal a fish from him? Oh. Well, I guess that also means we can go do our Polymarnie after this. Where is it? What the heck? Wait, did this give me any, uh, Aquila flowers either? Three, six, nine, eleven. Eh. Are any of you guys actually going for the null? Like, I know it's good. Obviously, but I don't know. <laughs> it's like two million coins, and I assume most people who get it are uh, got it because they carried. But yeah, after this, let's go fill up a Marnie stone from Polly's Forest. I assume it's going to be contested because everyone else is doing it. Though I think I am one day behind everyone else, so everyone that like, is doing it daily already has it. So that's probably good. Alright. An order did fill yesterday for... Uh, the fluid collector so that was pretty nice I actually had all the tools at Tet at one point and then I sold them just because I needed money we we're like that was the day we were hard pushing our pen ogre and uh, so yeah I sold a lot of stuff 
So basically all that money was from the pen ergons, pen bags, gloves, Tet Blackstar. Um, that was like probably 50 billion of the 70 I spent for the pen ogre. And then like the tools were, I think I got like seven or eight bill from that. And the rest I just kind of had. But yeah, by the time I actually calculated this, like by the time I get my Carrick, I am probably going to sell a lot of the leftover materials. I don't want to sell anything now because like I know what I need, but just going to be safe and not sell anything. So cause I'm so close. Just one more week. I can hold off. And then someone told me that you probably need around 7,000 or 7,000 C coins to get a piece of gear to um, plus 10. I assume that meant like one piece, not like all of them. I actually probably should have explored, hit the wrong button. Alright, let me update my sheet real quick. And we have 28 and 16. I, dude, I don't know why the rock salt ingots are more common. They, I thought they would be equal, but apparently they're not. So, yeah. After that, once you get 30 of them, we're just going to be converting these until into the uh, Pearl Shards, which you can do on the Crow's Nest. For You bring one, and you can exchange the Rock Salt for the Pearl Shard, and 200 sea uh, coins and it's a repeatable quest so it doesn't delay how long it'll take me to get my carrick it's just gonna take me some extra sea coins that I could be using for something else and right now in terms of the sea coins that we get from our bartering like every day I've been doing I've been trying to do two material refreshes as a priority and then two trade refreshes at the end at the night and see like just like chill out and then so we're on our fourth green boat gear part also someone told me that when you turn all your blue gear in they have to be at 100 durability so I guess it's good that mine are all at 100 well I just have to repair them like to full durability but uh like the max durability I heard that has to be 100 So I didn't really waste much money after all. Oof, Polyphorus is so far away, dude. Man, it does kind of feel bad when uh, you literally do one exchange from a refresh. I thought about doing this one, the Lunar Blackstone, because we need that for... This is uh, for plus 6 to plus 10 Carrick and, yeah, Carrick gear. I thought about it. Like, the money is kind of irrelevant. That is 300 C coins for that. But it's just going out into Margoria for one thing. Also feels kind of bad to the point where I don't know if it's worth. But that's okay.
It went down from uh, about three hours to two hours. Very good. I assume this is Marnie's Polyforest 1, which is like a 250 kill, right? That's not too bad. I should be able to do that in like 5 minutes, maybe 10. Probably like 5. Oh yeah, I'm also, um, oh, what the heck, am I not wearing something? Huh, I swear that was like 160 turn yesterday. Am I like crazy? I swear that was like a 161 turn yesterday. But yeah, I'm just trying to level up sailors at this point. Getting it from 9 to 10 is actually kind of, like, it takes a long time. Oh my god, people like suck at parking boats. I wish people would actually check in their boats. Let's go to Polly's, <clears throat> get these all done. Pick up my daily scrolls. Wait. Let's go. We're ready. Uh, 
Polly's is down here. We got to go. I'm going to be honest. I don't know where Marnie is down here. So I'm just going to go here. That's where I, at least I know where Marnie is. While we do that, one second. get from Polly's Forest these days. I'm pretty sure the only reason people go there because it's good XP up until like 61 and very good skill XP. The heck is that? I heard the drop rate for the Mono's Craftsman clothes was like one every like 300,000 trash. Which is, uh, yikes. Truffle mushrooms are 100k. What the heck? Are those? Wow, okay. Oof, they are sold out with a lot of orders. Hitting max price. I probably have to play my season character a little bit more. In the near future, I still have um, been super lazy and haven't really done much of the main story. I've gotten up to the Madaya zone, but then I haven't done anything else. Madaya quest line is just so boring. I don't want to do it. Let me see, how long would the Madaya ones be if I were to do it again? I did them all on my main, but... Oh god. Oh god, how many quests is this? That's a lot. That's nah, not too bad, actually. 26 and then another 60. Is this Medaya as well? Technically, yeah. Oh god. That's at least 120. Yeah, that's about 120 quests to do the Medaya line. Oof. Good thing we still have another month to do it as I procrastinate and just not do it. Do I have any rift bosses down here? Beg and ferret. Nope. I'll probably get them done last minute. I can't really see myself really wanting to ever do Madaya or not Madaya Valencia one again. I still even haven't even done Valencia 2 on my main, which uh, is uh, kind of laughable. 
I'll do it if I get a unicorn one day, just so I could sprint in the desert. Like, I understand why you can't, like, sprint in the desert without one. And you're supposed to use a camel, but my god, I feel like my camel's worse than a horse. actually did a little bit of grinding yesterday and it ultimately still feels the same after the change they just like I don't really understand oh my god uh oh I don't really understand why, what the calculation between those changes were. I think the reasoning was because they wanted to make it, like, the fever thing more beginner friendly. And or, like, for lower level grind spots. But it just seems so irrelevant. I'm pretty sure that most people just have one or two mains and then that's it like if you get to 63 there's a good chance you're not playing any other class 63 or higher I do know some people with a uh, few 63s but they just like grinding Marnie. Oh god. Is Marnie not here? I swear he was. I legit just might be dumb. Never mind. I remember this. Alrighty, let's see. We need a Polyforest one. Just day and night shurikens. Who grinds shuriken at night? What the heck? Ooh, there's a cry. That's cool. This is upper zone, I assume. Okay, so this is only a 250 kill. I don't really... I've never actually grinded Polyforest, so I don't know what a good rotation is. I've been there for like five minutes before, but I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just going to go do Dark Knight things, and hopefully they finish. Hopefully there's not like 15 people there and I'm just going to have to alt C on people. Hopefully that doesn't happen.
actually haven't done gathering in like three months, and I'm actually still surprised I can hold an icon. Is this a safe spot? I don't know. Yeet. I remember grinding here a little bit for all the knowledge, but not S knowledge. What is that? When Polys or Kama came out, I already had more gear than this required spot, so I just never grinded you. I don't know why I'm killing those imp thieves, doesn't it even count? This place is actually kind of dead, though I'm probably not in the right rotation for like main or anything. I wonder if people moved on. is actually kind of creepy. Oh, what the heck? Thing's not dead. Hope that was the right one. Alright, bruh. Are you serious, dude?
Did I do the wrong one? Oh my goodness. Toshi of the Fox Tribe. Who is that? Dang it, I was... Jesus, I probably should have read it. It's fine. I swear I thought it said give it to Fugar for some reason. Let me guess, afterwards it's gonna say turn it into Fugar or like talk to Fugar. Did it, bruh. We did it. 250. Highest priority is getting this one done before reset, so then we'll be on 39 tomorrow. I don't remember what the quests are, but I know day 40 is like get 200 AP and 250 DP, which is, um, shouldn't be too bad, honestly. I will get it if it's the last thing I do. I just need to get things to pry and then, yeah, so this is where we are right now. Um, getting 200 AP, considering I don't even have a belt right now, is probably going to be pretty easy. Um, when they say 200 AP, I hope they mean 200, like, it doesn't matter if it's main hand or off hand. But, let's go enhance a little bit on this character. We could probably, so we are, chest armor is plus 11. Two more days. I don't. I thought it was 40 days, not 41, but you know, whatever. Then, a, like, 40 and then final day. Let's go enhance them on uh, our other character. Let's see, can we get it to pry at very minimum? At pry, I think, do we even hit 250 DP? I don't know. We might actually have to get an armor to tet, which, uh, I mean, I could do. It's just, I prefer to not do that. <laughs> Do 
Jesus, look, dude. 300 stacks, 650s, and a 60, and an 80. And what do you know? More stacks. Oh my god. Failing 50-50s. Last one. That's fine. I, it's not really not difficult to get it to try, but you know, for the sake of just not doing that. I'm doing the very minimum I have to to get. If I have to get something to try or a tet, I'll do it because it means getting the ring, but it's not going to be pretty. One ninety seven AP. Oh, dang it. Oh, we beat the two fifty. We just need three more AP, and what do you get that? Nice, we got two fifty DP. We're done with that part. All we need to do is get a I'm not going to enhance any of these. I'm just curious to know, like, how much AP is it? Like, 3 AP per. So, you get 2 AP. Okay. Okay, so it's 2 AP per. This is 5... Get three. Three AP for a duo click or a tri click. 
I would have to use like, I don't know, what stack do you even use for duo to try? Like probably 15? Maybe? I don't know. Either way, um, shouldn't be a big deal I could get. How much AP do you get from your shield? There's no way it's three. Um, alright, well, our next step is, pry, pry to Vala earrings, and then that'll give us six, so that's just one AP, and then a duo, so, I don't know, whichever, I guess. So we're done with the DP though, that's cool. Oh, wait, we forgot. We could turn this in and get some, uh, we get 40 stack. Nice. Somehow, like, I really just don't care about doing these. Like, you get it to, you get them to Tet, and then you get a 60 stack. I mean, it might be worth it, but I don't know. I just don't care that much. We made 250 what on DP, which is the bracket that we need to get for the day 40 quest. We got to level 61, so basically what we have to do now is just do all these quests and get them done. I do want the two maids, though. Two maids and an 80 stack, so I'm probably going to have to do that, but right now I'm just kind of lazy. So, with that said, we are out for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.